Hello everyone and welcome back to Paper Walk and Tell, where we make forms and applications easy on everyone. Raheem on the mic and I'm your host, Nigel Stand Up. In the last episode, we talked about the security breach at Desjardins and as part of their responsibility to do right by the customer, they'll cover your credit monitoring for a period of five years, which allows you to catch and flag any irregularities on your credit. Now, it's been rolled out in two steps. In the last video, we went through step one. I requested an activation code, which I got in the mail, and I would now like to show you guys how I used it to open my credit monitoring account with Equifax. Just an FYI, on their website, they say you should expect to receive the activation code by mail within 90 days. But I got mine within two, maybe three weeks. So from experience, I can tell you, you may not have to wait that long at all which is great because waiting up to 90 days to be able to flag something fraudulent on your credit report was one of my initial concerns. All right, let's go to the web address on the letter. There's information on the page for you to read, but we know exactly why we're here. So let's go directly to the activation code. After putting that in, we'll hit submit. Right away, we can see it's going to be a three-step process. First, we'll have to give our personal information. Then we'll have to create an account, then move on to identity verification. Let's begin. All that's done. And now we hit continue and move on to the account creation. When we get to identity verification, we can choose to have a one-time passcode sent by text message to the cell phone number we gave when filling out our personal information, or we can choose to receive it by email. I chose to receive a text message, so I'm going to go ahead and put that number in and hit submit. Now, as you can see, we get to pay nothing, zilch, zero dollars for the first five years. That's my kind of plan. I'm cool with that. Let's go ahead and submit. Oh man, when you see red all over the page like this, that can't be good. This is as far as I got before hitting a roadblock. And the message is basically saying something's gone wrong with the order and I have to call customer service. When I called, the agent I spoke with said, I wasn't able to complete my order because the system could not confirm my identity. Niger people safe. I tie phone now. If you have your full name on some credit products and you have a slightly different name or address on other credit products, the system may have trouble assembling all your records because of the mismatch. So that's when you get this error. To move forward, they sent me a form by email to verify who I am. I did not capture my screen when I was filling out this form because I thought I could come back and redo it to show you guys, but the PDF didn't allow me. Once you sign and send, you cannot reopen it. It's done, shikina. But it's nothing to worry about. It's pretty straightforward stuff. Here's the info you can expect to provide. Your name, your address, your date of birth, activation code, and two pieces of government ID. Now, I did the verification on a Friday afternoon, and before the end of the same day, I received another email with a link and temporary password that would allow me move forward in creating my Equifax account. The rest of it was smooth sailing. My account was set up and I had access to my credit report. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So after you get onto the website and you log in, this is the first page you see, starting with the dashboard. Right away, I like that you get to see your credit score. That information is big and bold and right in front of you. Scrolling down, you can see if there's been any alerts since the last time you logged on. Then we have the credit report summary, broken down into the different types of credit accounts. The next tab on the top is alerts. And this is where you set alert preferences. You can view any present or previous alerts in this section. Now let's move on to the next tab, scores. 
This section is where you have your credit score and some metrics to help you understand it. Scrolling down, you have score trending. I'm not able to see that because it looks like I have to install Adobe Flash. Let's check out how lenders see you. It appears on one side of the spectrum. If you have a credit score of 499 and below, then you fall within the 55% delinquency rate. And on the other side of the spectrum, a credit score from 750 to 900 would be excellent with a delinquency rate of 1%. Moving on to the next tab, we have reports. This is where you generate present and past credit reports. There's a lot more information available to you on this site. What we've done is just a quick walkthrough to give you guys an idea what to expect. I think it's a cool platform that offers you the ability to stay on top of your records. Now, whether that's of any value to you is a matter of uh, perspective and personal opinion. Either way, it's all paid up by Digiden, which works out to over $1,000 you don't have to worry about. Uh, from what I've seen so far, as in the information I'm able to access, I dig it. I think I'll be making the most of my subscription over the five years. Now, in terms of ease, I would rate the online application a seven. And that's because I had to call in, stay on hold, speak with a rep, go through the verification email, yada, yada, yada. You may not have to do any of that. So your experience may be a 10 out of 10. That's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. If there's something you would like to see me cover on the channel, let me know in the comments or send me an email. If you have knowledge or experience you would like to share with this audience, then please reach out. Perhaps we can create some content together. If you enjoyed this content and you would like to give me a high five or a fist pump, then please use the coffee link in the description. I take it black, no sugar, no cream. Thank you. Your support is always appreciated. Until next time, stay safe and COVID free. Deuces. This life I can't keep myself. I can't keep myself. Oh. Pam, pam, pam.